rodents, leaky ceilings, and missing smoke detectors. City inspectors found more than 200 violations at a Jacksonville apartment complex, according to records obtained by the News for Jack's I team. This isn't the first time, though, the code inspectors have come out to East Side Apartments on Franklin Avenue. News for Jack's I team investigator Kelly Wiley is live at the complex with what she's uncovered. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Families, people with disabilities, elderly folks, they all live in this apartment complex, but we found city inspectors uncovered uh, broken windows, unsanitary conditions, and in some cases, missing smoke detectors inside. The owners of this apartment building have rebranded. They've swapped out the old name Franklin Arms for Downtown East Apartments. But where they don't go by the same name, tenants say they're experiencing the same issues with their units. City records show in February, during a systematic inspection of the building, inspectors found 236 violations and opened 40 new code enforcement cases. Records obtained by the News for Jack's I team show city inspectors found more than a dozen units without smoke detectors and found multiple homes infested with rodents. Inspectors also reported finding homes with broken or missing windows and ceilings damaged because of leaking roofs. Inspectors found in one unit an electrical system was improperly wired in the kitchen. City inspectors came out to Franklin Arms in 2018 too. The director of the city's code enforcement says during this inspection, city inspectors found less structural issues with the complex. The structure itself, um, stairwells and elevators and things like that, uh, were in better shape than when we went last time. We had a lot more uh, actual structural issues last time. What did you find this time <clears throat> inside the apartment? This time, just basic minimum housing conditions. Um, as I mentioned, uh, leaking sinks, uh, holes in walls and roofs, cracks, um, just uh, general maintenance type issues. Councilman Gaffney says for the last several years as a council member, he's gotten calls about the conditions of this apartment complex, but also about the lack of alternate options for low income families living there. So you can see how tough it is for a leader. You got half saying I want better and I'm going to try to move and you got the other half saying I don't have nowhere else to go and this is all I can afford. And this isn't the only systematic inspection the city has done in the month of February. An inspection of housing off of Moncrief Road led to 444 cases and 712 violations. Another inspection on 29th and Chase led to 216 cases being opened and 420 violations. And here at this apartment con complex, we are going to continue to watch closely as uh, they work to uh, to fix the issues that the city has cited. Um, we're told that uh, right now they've been given pretty much like a 30 minute uh, day period to fix these issues. And if not, they can be taken into court and there they could be uh, given a fine that will accrue as days go by. Uh, so we're going to continue monitoring for that. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.